we are the future, our children is going to be the future, or, you know? So it is like, it's not at the end and even at the beginning. We have like to always do something. So this is very important to me. So if we don't protect the environment that we're in, uh, it's going to die. And with that, we're going to die. I would choose not to die. <laughs> the only thing I do for environment for now, I think, is recycling because I uh, I have like recycling uh, trash can and uh, like a regular trash can. Ich schon drauf, ähm, ja, nicht zu viel Auto zu fahren. Ich fahre Fahrrad statt Auto. Äh. So I think in the last year I am thinking about it uh, more often because uh, um, there are a lot of people that they are talking about it. Um, in a social media? I take it very seriously, but in a different way. I, uh, I, um, I, I waste, I, I try to waste less plastics, but that's not the point where I, I try to conserve the most. Usually I try to protect the animals, insects, butterflies. Yeah, because they always drive trucks, drive very huge cars the, the gas produce a lot of waste from that car that kind of car the trucks and stuff and but and also they don't recycle it that much i think here if you take it superficial superficially they are good because they don't waste so much but on the other side they take their trash and they dump it somewhere in asia or africa which is still a part of the environment also ich glaube dass hier technologisch mehr innovation vielleicht da ist Was schlechter ist, würde ich sagen, ist, dass halt der Anteil an erneuerbaren Energien immer noch ziemlich gering ist. Here they use air conditioning all the time. It's like they don't care. Maybe not all the people, but in general also for the government maybe is not that important. I know that we have utilized wind energy. I know that we have utilized um, solar energy but beyond that our our country is severely lacking in uh, renewable energy because we still use a tremendous amount of oil we still use a tremendous amount of electricity and we don't we're, we're still producing a lot of it through coal like the plastic things you know they should like do something with like shipper materials or or like and different plastics. If, you, if you're just speaking about cleaning your environment, not the, the global wise, US is much better than Asia. Like, they, they care here more. They talk at least about these issues. Over in Egypt, no one talks about these issues that much. We built the biggest solar uh, power station in the whole of Africa. Yeah, lots of our power right now is coming from the solar power or uh, wind power or um, electricity from water. So, but we still have oil and gas. But I'm just speaking generally. The sun is very helpful for us. In Italy, we try to use different um, source of energy. Uh, so maybe that's um, I think that we can do and improve trying to do our best and es gibt daheim glaube ich mehr erneuerbare energien aber es ist auch irgendwo verständlich weil das land natürlich bedeutend kleiner ist und es ist damit leichter zu versorgen mit erneuerbaren energien in brazil we talk about this because it's like a big thing we try to do something to this, you know, like we have ethanol, so it's like a better way to the gas from your car compared to gas. We try like to do something with the forest because it's like a problem about the burning forest on Amazon. Actually, the sun power is very widely used in China, but not for car, we use it for showers. Yeah, it's uh, almost everyone has a like solar powered, a uh, heating system for showers in back in my home back in China. It's been used for over 10 years now. I think we really need to come up with a solution to make the whole system sustainable. So in the future generations, they can both have like e enough amount of food and at the same time they can live in a good environment.